Coming off a challenging matchup against Duke, the UConn football team looked to turn their season around against the struggling Utah State Aggies. The Huskies came out firing in the first half. Backed by touchdowns from Jelani Stafford and Justin Harris, UConn put up the first 17 points of the game. And those 17 points tied the most points UConn has scored in a game so far this season. Their defense backed them up on the other side of the ball as well, coming up with two interceptions in the first quarter. However, UConn's defensive woes would return as Utah State would put up 24 unanswered points on 149 yards worth of touchdowns and one field goal. At the end of the first half was not a, a, a good call. Uh, the second one was we got beat, uh, we busted, busted the coverage. Um, the third one was uh, our right corner got blocked and lost leverage. And the fourth one was a, a guy beat us. He just simply got, got beat there. However, the Huskies battled back and punched in a would-be game-tying score with 40 seconds left. But in heartbreaking fashion, the extra point kick was blocked by the Aggies, and they closed out the game 34-33. to Despite another loss, there are plenty of positives to draw on from this performance. UConn recorded their season high in points and finished with 473 yards, also a season best mark. Offense showed up and take one made big strides. We threw the ball down the field and we ran the ball with authority. Uh, the defense didn't, didn't, we didn't uphold our end of the, of the deal and that's very disappointing obviously. Today's loss marks the end of UConn's three game homestand as they head down to Houston next week to take on Rice. They'll return back home on October 21st where they'll play USF in their homecoming game. But until then, I'm Kyle Laidlaw, UCDV Sports.